we do have streams and streams of them. It's actually quite a surreal picture as we sit up here in what is actually in a way quite a barren landscape. I mean, there's not that many trees, there's hills in the distance, and then there's just these rows of wildebeest. And because of the way that the light is shining on them, although it's less pronounced now, but when I first stopped here, I don't quite know how to describe it because I don't think you can really see it through the eyes of the camera, but they look two-dimensional. They look like sort of cardboard rows of wildebeest on a, some kind of procession line. It was really quite surreal. All marching back, that by the way, if you're staring out across is Tanzania, all marching their way down that way. I might, during our time in the middle of the day, whilst Manu and I are not bound by the restrictions of signal, I might pop my nose down there, not into Tanzania, just next to it, and see what's happening that side. Because this is now three days in a row I've just watched this endless stream of wildebeest walking that way. Somewhere there, there must be masses of them. James, they do look like ants. They look exactly like ants. Except this is the most ordered procession I've seen in three different rows. Right, no time to be distracted by wildebeest. There's always time to be distracted by wildebeest. Let's carry on to our lines and send you back to Brent and his friend Howard.